Welcome back to our Bluesy Water channel. I want to do a video today on a new chart I created called a pros and cons chart. So we're going to show you another similar chart, which is more in depth explaining how each tool applies to different key actions. And then we're going to get into our pros and cons chart. So this gives you a really in depth feeling for when you purchase a tool what it's good for, what it's not good for, what it, what it needs to be complemented with. And we're, you're gonna really get a sense of all the actions that these tools can do. So it's vitally important that you understand every tool, just like if you had a toolkit at home, a hammer, pliers, screwdriver. I uh, just wanna show you briefly, we've done a few videos on this. Uh, this is a, what we, I call a tools chart. So we have major categories that one is working on. Systemic includes, you know, all diseases pretty much. And um, what I call systemic. Then the energetic structural is really more of a body work uh, breakdown in structure. And then, you know, energy systems like acupuncture, cranial sacral, uh, how to work on the energetic body and the structural body. Environmental toxins is straightforward. Subconscious programs is getting beyond just the energy body and the physical body into actually deeper meditative consciousness work, but it doesn't involve the energy body. It's sort of the, the conduit uh, between us. The consciousness uh, issues affect the energy body. So that's a category into itself. And then we have detoxification antimicrobial, which uh, it's it, this goes, to, if you include environmental and the entire, um, what we call auto intoxication, any, any toxicity issues, that's a category, two categories that kind of fit together. Okay, so we list in this chart some of the major uh, tools that we use and kind of what they're good at. So this is one way we go at it. So for instance, vibration therapy, which really also includes this is a vibration therapy program. Uh, it's really good systemically because it can work on detox and uh, essentially work the whole energy body, the chi, so to speak, and break up stagnation. It's excellent on the energetic structural, amazing self body work program. This is one of the best programs actually. It works on the lymph, the organs, the fascia, the meridians, detox, trauma. It's an incredible program. Um, environmental toxins, um, again, this is going to process the entire uh, body. It's a complete total body pump system. Um, you would add in extra chelators, infusion products, but this is a way to process once you infuse and process with this therapy. We, do, we have an analogy where we describe the vibration therapy program is kind of like turning on the agitator on a washing machine. You wouldn't just put detergent in the machine. You would uh, have to engage the actual machine, the agitator, to clean the clothes. So for environmental toxins, you would in infuse bluesy water or energy enzyme blend, which pull out the uh, metals and chemicals. And then you would stand on the vibration machine and use the rapid release to target specific areas of the body. We call this a dual vibrational therapy program. The machines do the work. You just point the rapid release to site-specific places as you're standing on the vibration machine, which potentiates the whole vibrational field. Subconscious programs, once again, the vibration therapy is amazing on trauma. It's a natural mechanism for releasing trauma patterns in the body. Now, if to go deeper off body, you you're, you're now need additional processes, and we're going to get into that in one of these tools in the next video. Detoxification antimicrobial is, um, again, this is a profound detoxification program. It's the same concept you infuse various agents into the body and use the vibration therapy program as you would an agitator on a washing machine. Okay, this is just one example. This whole chart goes through every action of all the therapies. Now we have a second chart that I created 
called Pros and Cons of the Various Therapies. Now this is important to understand because generally when you go on the internet and look at some of these technologies, they're going to market them, let's say over-market them, not always. They're not going to tell you what they're not good at. They're going to tell you, they're going to imply that you can do you know, a lot more sometimes than you can do. Uh, one example is somebody who owned a variety of these technologies was building their home clinic, heard a podcast, kind of overhyping hydrogen therapy and implying uh, some stuff with COVID. So they got off the other therapies and started just, you know, believing that the hydrogen would be a, what I call the one-shot wonder. So in any other uh, field, you know, you don't just have one a one-shot wonder approach. If you're a carpenter, you have multiple skills. If you're an athlete, multiple skills. An engineer, multiple skills. A musician, multiple skills. You're not just going to play the same song over and over. So, unfortunately, money gets corrupts healing, even in terms of if you trying to go out to a practitioner you'll find they specialize in one thing and the other and they really push that one thing. They're not going to expand typically into a much greater, bigger view. Number one, that's not profitable. It's more profitable to say, hey, come and do this particular form of functional medicine or if you just do acupuncture or, you know, you have specialties all over the place. I always say that an auto mechanic is, is more holistic than a holistic practitioner because most auto mechanics can do virtually everything on a car at least the old school mechanics, including electric, but they might send you out to an electrical specialist, but a lot of mechanics could literally, if it was their own car, they would fix the electric, they'd fix, they could do um, pretty much everything. They might send you out for front end alignment because they don't quite have that machinery. Doesn't mean they don't understand it. So when it comes to healing, due to the money situation and also the training, you know, you might, for instance, in body work, go to a Rolfer and they believe that Rolfing is superior to any other form of body work. I've met Rolfers. Uh, this is a sadness in, in the field of healing due to ego and money. People feel have to present the one thing they do as superior. Now, this goes for the same with these technologies. So please understand this is a skill set of using multiple technologies and hopefully this list is going to help you. So let's take vibration therapy. This is one of the most overall excellent therapies, but it does have limit limitations. So the pros are it has detoxification, lymph treatment, works all the organs, fascia release, trauma release, meridian and chakra treatment, best combo therapy for self-body work. Now this is true because as a body worker, it's almost impossible to do self-body work on yourself. But these machines in combination are so powerful in, do, in doing the work, all you have to know is where to point them. And you really get an incredible amount of results. The cons is, can assist with inhibiting microbial, so in terms of the detoxification, but it's not, exact, it's not an antimicrobial therapy. To some degree on the vibration machine, you can create a rife-like uh, process, and it will inhibit microbes, but it will not knock them out. So you need different therapies for the straight on, you know, really uh, what I call the direct kill. Now, even with a strong G-force machine, which uh, we're saying that the wave as it travels into the body diminishes. So you could have a G-17, for instance, hypervibe, and that wave at the deeper levels of the body is going to be thwarted. It's going to be impeded. It's not going to be the same intensity. So, you, you know, you'd have to get to such a brutal G-force level that you would hurt yourself. So, at the microcellular level, deep within, you need other therapies. This is a mechanical pumping action working outside in. So, you have to perceive the action and see it in very straightforward uh, eyes. Okay, we have a suggested video you can watch, treating the organs, advanced protocol for kidney and liver treatment. PEMF therapy. Um, PMF therapy, excellent therapy. This is a one of four what we call microcellular therapies that you know that we uh, promote, and 
it's like an MRI P, uh, PMF. It goes through. It literally, I had an Achilles injury, for instance. I spent six months getting nowhere, doing everything I knew in body work, acupuncture, you know, uh, things like um, DMSO, and nothing was healing those cells. So this is a therapy that goes right at every cell, literally. You have a broken bone, an Achilles injury, it actually will go right through you, completely through you, and if you have the right frequency and the right magnetic field strength, it just pumps literally, literally every cell. My wife had a broken toe, and literally in two treatments, all the pain and swelling was gone. Now this is an incredible therapy for accelerated microcellular healing, but it's a pump, it's a, it's a, a magnetic pump, basically, and if you set it right, and you set it the right field strength, can do incredible microcellular pumping. Now, um, the key, again, once again, is the magnetic field strength used and the frequency selected. Uh, for instance, Schumann is an excellent cellular healing uh, um, frequency. Typically, the system we sell is a practitioner level system where you can adjust a, a lot of these parameters. You can adjust the intensity. And the cons is, must be grounded. What does that mean? If you're especially going to use it all night long to help with sleep. This is a frictional field that builds up sort of static charge in the body and you need to discharge the field. Even if you're doing it for 30 minutes, not a bad idea, but particularly if you're doing it for long periods of time, you use grounding. It's very simple to discharge the, the buildup of the static field in the body. Also, it's a tends to be a dehydrating therapy, so you want to drink plenty of water. And I use hydrogen therapy. When I do this all night long, I actually breathe hydrogen, which is a very hydrating therapy to balance the PEMF. Otherwise, you're going to feel dry. And if you don't ground it, literally this field's going to back up in your body. And you, the reason a lot of these PEMF systems on the market are low, low gas, like the Beamer, is because instead of just simply figuring out you could ground the system, they don't want to push the gas because it will backfire if you don't ground it. So, But then again, you can't get to really good therapeutic thresholds when needed. So it's much better to have flexible gas, ground the therapy, and then find dial it into what's working for the, for the client. So anyhow, this is great for cell repair. But it's not a bodywork tool. So let's say you you know you're misaligned. It's not going to adjust you. It's not going to perceive the various pathways that need to be worked on. So anybody trying to let's say if you have a bad lower back, you need to do adjustments. You need to, in other words, you would want to use the vibration therapy with rapid release and try to work on yourself as much as you can. That's going to align you naturally with a little skill, and then this will get at the microcellular level. So this is more macro, this is micro. So it's very cell specific, and also like we mentioned, it's magnetic hypnosis. If you set it, let's say on a one to two frequency, it's gonna help put you to sleep. And we have a video here, PMF therapy. Home ozone therapy, we sell this on our site. We just went with a new company because they provide incredible support and lifetime warranty on the generator. This is a lifetime therapy. You should have lifetime support, lifetime guarantee. This requires at the initial stages some serious support. It's a serious, serious antimicrobial therapy. A lot of people uh, in the past would only go to a clinic, but it's very easy to do at home, but you need to be trained. Uh, it's child's play, actually, the actual doing once you get uh, learn it. So this is an incredible tool to have in your clinic, home clinic. The pros is it's amazing and knocking out microbes. It's, it's not 100%, but when you do the uh, rectal insufflation, it goes blood systemic. Then you can do nasal insufflation, ear insufflation. You can go after various targeted areas of the body. The sinuses can build up uh, incredible infections, and this is will obliterate these infections after so many X amount of treatments. It's very powerful at the sinus level, the rectal insufflation. You need to learn how to do it. You need to understand uh, basically how not to go into excessive therapy at the beginning. As with IV, homozone therapy goes 
blood systemic vets via the rectal insufflation, and you can also treat locally, such as sinuses, ears, legs, arm. You can bag a, a leg, for instance, if you had an infection. One could do IV injections. Some people do this, but you really typically need a practitioner. And of course, you do IV ozone, but it's expensive. You absolutely need a practitioner. And good luck getting in in a timely manner. By the time you get in, your infection might have quadrupled. And so you want to get on the therapy immediately when something shows up. If you're sick at 8 in the morning, you want to be hitting this at 9 in the morning. Uh, you don't want to wait five days. Th that could be a difference between life and death in some of these infections. So uh, unless you are capable of doing IV ozone for yourself, which very few people are, the rectal becomes the pragmatic alternative. And once you adjust to this therapy and balance it, and we'll get into that later on, um, you can tolerate higher dosing, which makes it more therapeutically uh, stronger. So we say in tandem with our high-frequency vortex therapy, it excels at reaching high therapeutic thresholds as an antimicrobial therapy. So the cousin to a home ozone therapy is the next one, high-frequency vortex electrostatic charge therapy. We'll get into that in a minute. So the cons of ozone therapy, as with any really strong antimicrobial program, can cause severe detox reactions, must be used carefully, need to integrate with the entire detox program. You need to click on that and read about it. Need to balance and temper oxidative stress with hydrogen therapy. Best to do that. Hydrogen therapy is literally the offset. It's like you burn wood, that's ozone, the fire, and the leftover embers would be putting out those embers as hydrogen therapy. Now, the entire detox program, when you do ozone in the next therapy, high-frequency vortex electrostatic charge therapy, you're going after microbes. You're killing them. You're knocking them out. So you have to process what's called the die-off. So the entire detox program will give you the foundation to, number one, pull any excess of garbage out of the blood, and literally had a pump. So it's like having a swimming pool that's filthy, and you have you put in some killer pumps and killer filters, and you know within a day or two, you clean out the, the swimming pool. You have to have a pump and filter program for the body, and you have to have the right infusion agents to grab onto the, the garbage that will end up in the blood. If you don't, it's like throwing water a soap in a washing machine, you don't even turn on the washing machine, you come back 20 minutes later and the water's filthy. That's, that's your filthy blood not being processed. So you must be able to process, when you go after things, you must have this pumping filter program in place. High frequency vortex electrostatic charge therapy, essentially ozone and these, this therapy are literally what I call lightning therapies. Ozone's made with by passing oxygen through a, a generator which has lightning strikes that electrifies the oxygen, it's called corona discharge, and that turns it to ozone. So it's literally like lightning strikes. The high frequency vortex therapy is like a lightning field. I always say imagine sitting in the middle of an electrical storm and you don't get electrocuted, you get all charged up. So. The key to this frequency is the ability to permeate the body. It's very permeable, self-permeable, as is PEMF therapy and also hydrogen therapy, which we'll get to in a minute. And ozone is very permeable, blood systemic permeable. So these are all permeable. So this high-frequency vortex therapy, it's a field, a charged-up electrostatic charge field that's running at 300,000 hertz, and it's spinning in an aggressive vortex that drives it into the body. Now this is a practitioner only therapy because you can get quite the Herxheimer or detox reaction. If you go too fast, we, we have to prepare the, the detox organs, the kidneys, the liver, uh, to handle the die-off that ensues. So you have to build up at a pace that you can handle. We have to evaluate uh, your sensitivity level, your reactivity level. So the pros is it works on many diseases, there's a whole list of diseases this therapy works on. It's antimicrobial, especially in tandem with ozone. Now, you know, if you're 
got a good immune system or you've done a lot of work, you might not need to do the two together. But if you're trying to battle off a, a, an infestation that's been with you, let's say, 10 years, or maybe Lyme disease as an example, you really got to have skillful combinations and you really have to be prepared to do the work. This is very easy to use. It's excellent for all the organs. It's a microcellular therapy. It permeates and repairs hard to reach damaged cells. Works on closed loop formations. By the way, we can get with you and do a consult, send you all kinds of uh, further information on all these therapies. Again, cons is it requires practitioner support and it must be integrated with our antimicrobial program. And then there's the playlist here. Hydrogen therapy. Hydrogen therapy is. Unlike all these other therapies we listed above, this is what I call a cooling or water therapy. It's anti-inflammation, anti-fire. Ozone's fire, emissions fire. The high vortex frequency electrostatic charge therapy, aka emission coil, by the way. Um, PMF therapy, fire. Vibration machine, frictional in nature. So this hydrogen therapy is anti-inflame, anti-flame, anti-inflammatory. And its forte is that the hydrogen molecule is very, very tiny and can permeate deep into the cell's core. So it's a food for the body. It's the, we're 66% hydrogen by volume. And this is sort of one of the most primary elements that body needs. So it helps the body create homeostasis and cell repair. It takes time. Depends on severity of conditions, but it, it, its permeability is a gift, and it then goes to work on a gradual basis to help the body heal. So I say, Ayurvedically speaking, this is a water therapy, and it helps balance the many fire therapies which we listed above. The cons is, although it can assist long term in overall homeostasis, this is not. And I want to be crystal clear for anybody who owns this or is looking to buy this. If you have infections, microbials, you must do the antimicrobial program. Use this therapy for a long-term homeostasis, long-term anti-inflammatory therapy. But if you have an immediate microbial situation or one comes up, if, if you get an infection, you really want to jump on the antimicrobial program and use this to balance the inflammatory response that will come. If you have an infection, you'll get fever, for instance which is a good thing. You're trying to literally create internal fire to burn up the, the, the invader. Now, some invaders, you can't get to them. They're, they're very sneaky. They don't go away with traditional therapies, and then you get more and more inflammation, which could kill you, actually. Uh, the cytokine storm, for instance, is an example. So it is good to quell inflammation, but it's also excellent to go after the thing that's causing the inflammation in the first place. You put this therapy together with our antimicrobial therapy, you're being a wise person. Do not get into the one-shot wonder mentality with any of these therapies. They all need balance. They all have pros and cons. That's why we did this chart. Okay, cryotherapy is something I recently started doing. Now, this is one you have to go out for. You can't do this at home unless you've got a lot of money and create your own cryotherapy chamber. Uh, I spend around 116 a month. I can go every day for cryotherapy. And um, it's an amazing uh, therapy for in, it's anti-inflammatory. The tank I go into literally is a minus 170 degrees. I'm in there for three and a half minutes. You would think that's, you know, going to be brutal, but it's actually, for me, way better than the ice bath that some people do. It's way more comfortable. Um, so the pros is it helps, what, what I say, regulate the neuroendocrine system. In other words, it helps the body uh, really create its own homeostasis. In terms of immediate effect, I even find this more, uh, a quicker result than the hydrogen therapy. Uh, but the hydrogen therapy, you can do it at home. I breathe it all night long. It still can take years and years and years uh, to get a result in certain areas. So cryotherapy, very powerful. Um, you need to read Wim Hof, 
Google Wim Hof, it says to learn about the benefits of cold therapy. He's sort of the guru of cold therapy. Um, now, you can do the ice baths if you want at home. It's expensive. You have to buy a lot of ice. Some people will buy like a, a literally like a ice, big ice fr chest freezer. And then you have to seal it and you fill it with water and literally uh, make sure it's the water is kept clean. And then jump in there. I know people do that. Um, if you can handle the water, that's not a bad way to go at home. But I prefer the chamber. But any any action in this uh, arena of cold therapy is quite profound. You just have to do it. Uh, it can help you sleep better. Uh, it um, obviously very profound on inflammation. A lot of athletes do this therapy. Where I go, a lot of martial artists do it. Okay, so we can get more into explaining this, but Google Wim Hof and get a feel for why cold therapy is an excellent therapy. The cons is it's very intense. You have to be careful when starting. And, you know, you, you definitely, uh, due to the intensity of the therapy, if you have, let's say, a really weak heart, probably something you would not want to do. So you need to check with your healthcare practitioner. Where I go, they actually have a whole checklist of symptoms that they ask you to sign off on. Um, so, and then we have a video on cold therapy. Okay, we have our additional programs. This is, these are the major sort of technologies. I, I didn't want to list all the sub-technologies here. So in our trauma release program, we have a bunch of tools that work on trauma and consciousness. And in our next video, we're going to discuss one of our newer tools, which is a, a, a kind of a creative way of using EMDR. And then we have a consciousness transformation practices. We have a protocol, various protocols for working at the brain itself, the lungs, a neck repair protocol, a body, a body work tip uh, playlist. These are all playlists. Some of the, a couple of these are just straight out videos. Okay, the lung one is a video. We don't have a lung playlist. So there are a lot of videos within uh, these playlists that really dig down into trauma work, consciousness work, um, different tools for the brain. The lung protocol video has a lot of tools. If you get a lung infection, lungs are hard to permeate, so this video will give you ways to actually get deep into the cells of the lungs. The neck repair protocol is four videos for those of you with neck issues. And the body work tips is just all kinds of good stuff. So I just want you once again to appreciate that these are all tools. They have their pros and cons. Appreciate the action of each tool and see it as a big palette of integration, not uh, get, you know, how do I say, limited in your view where you, oh, I just want this one thing and, you know, I want the one pill, I want the one surgery. This is work. We're working against disease, we're working against trauma, we're working against aging. It's just all kinds of challenges. This is really high level work, the hardest work you'll ever do as far as trying to stay open and flexible in your approach in a way that should be obvious for most, but we're just so ill-trained by the culture that you're going to get fixed by this or by that, and you're looking for the fix. It's like you're looking for a, it's like a horse racing. You want to fix and you want to know which horse is going to win the race. Okay, so please contact me if you want to engage a integrative approach and uh, you want to start looking into really setting up your own home clinic. Obviously, money is a consideration, but I always say for the price of a used car, you could have a lifetime home holistic clinic. Many of these uh, therapies are very affordable and uh, it's best to start somewhere and it's good to know what each therapy is doing and, and then you can just gradually build your home clinic over time or maybe you have a situation where you could share a clinic with, you know, 5, 10, 15 people, create like a, a little co-op clinic in your community. And uh, if you contact me, andrew at bluesywater.com, uh, we can get you these uh, charts and you can take a look at them. And of course, if you want to do a consult, uh, contact me.
you know, I always start off a consult by asking you, what are your core issues you're working on and trying to discern what you've already done. And then we build a strategic program from there. Appreciate it. Take care. Thank you.